This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right. So what we're talking about is WAC 100, um, the game, the halftime show. So WAC 100 went on uh, Clubhouse the other night and someone asked him like, yo, did he not perform at the halftime show because of the a grudge that Jay-Z had? Now, if you don't know, Jay-Z is the head of like the halftime show stuff. Now he works with the NFL, right? So WAC 100 was like, yo, you smart, man. You're smart, right? He's like, you know, the game told Jay-Z to S his D, like, ten, you know, on a track many years ago. Now, that's true. The, ga- uh, the game had been going at Jay-Z f- since before he was on G-Unit. If you look, if you listen to the tapes he did with JT the Big Figure and everything, right? So, and JT the Big Figure is a, bi- a guy out of um, uh, the Bay Area. And he used to put out a lot of independent albums from, like, I think the 90s into the 2000s. And he had paid the game for a bunch of tapes. So um, JT, you know, released those tapes with Koch and, you know, anyways. So on those, he's going at Jay-Z. But not only that, like, he went at Jay-Z 10 years ago on, uh, I think, the Death of Autotune beat, all this other stuff. The game likes to go at other rappers, okay? So the game, I had to clarify this. It said, don't nobody speak on the game except the game. I had no conversation with nobody regarding Jay-Z and the Super Bowl he put together. Don't feel no way about not being included. Yes, you do. Stop. Uh, it was a great show featuring iconic people. The culture wins that night. Now, everyone that is... <laughs> the culture, sure, the culture won... But that's what people say. (laughs) Let's just be honest. That's what people say when you're real mad and you want to be positive about it. Um, You say the culture won. Let's see. People say, but it really, I got to admit, I I really would have liked to see 50 Cent go from in the club to hate it or love it, even if it was like super quick, you know, like that would have been, that would have been cool. We know. Now, what WAC 100 was implying and WAC 100 clarified his comments is that Jay-Z holds grudges, you know? And that's basically probably why the game, a a part of a reason why the game wasn't there. But also Dr. Dre holds grudges. Dr. Dre ruined, I mean, I'm sorry, the game ruined a great thing, you know? Uh, Once a a conglomerate, I would say, like G-Unit. Okay, so you had Aftermath, Eminem came from that. And then you had G-Unit come from that whole camp, right? Huge. It was a trio of labels that were just dominating. You get the game who's about to get dropped. 50 Cent agrees to pick him up, add to his album. The game goes, you know, multi-platinum, right? I think he went diamond eventually worldwide. Then you choose to go against 50 Cent because that was your plan from before you even signed, talking to Jim Jones, that was your plan to create controversy to maybe go to another level. That forced Dr. Dre to choose, and he chose 50 Cent, you know, and the game got dropped. Now, it was good for the game because he got moved over to another layer. I mean, in a sense, it was good for game. That's kind of what he wanted, orchestrated. And, you know, the game talks later like, yo, we could have made a billion dollars over there. Dude, you ruined it because after that, once things start falling apart, they fall apart, man. And that's what happened. G-Unit just fell apart after that. Young Buck was all disgruntled. He got off the label. You know, a lot of stuff happened. But you could tell the game was tight, you know, because at, at that par, Super Bowl party, he was like, yo, I could be at the Super Bowl. We could all be at the Super Bowl. But I want to be here. The vibe is here. Yo, Kanye didn't even give you tickets to sit at the Super Bowl, bro. And you just did a song with him. And he gave tickets to like YG and a bunch of other people, but not you. That's a little weird. Um, so, yeah, Jay-Z holds grudges. Dr. Dre holds grudges. I don't think 50 Cent would have cared. Uh, then you got... So, Wack 100 was forced to say, At Hip Hop DX, you're a lie. The game never said this. I never said he said this about the Super Bowl. Stop twisting stuff. Say what you say what real. Miss us with the fake stuff. I addressed an old song of 10 years ago. Nobody said the game made this. Right. 
but still, when you do a lot of talk in our clubhouse, a lot of things get twisted. Anyways, that's the truth about everything. I still, you know, let's just be honest. They didn't want the game there, okay? It's too many. He created, that's what, you know, they really should have did it. Yeah, they, the grudge thing is kind of, yeah, that would have been a moment. The game did was a big part of that that block of time, you know, and he should have done hate it or love it at least with 50 Cent because that's what really 50 Cent ushered him into the game. He didn't come into the game by himself. There was a lot of mystery around the game on mixtapes. His first single had 50 on it, how we do, but everyone loves hate it or love it. You can't not hate. <laughs> you have to you have to love that song. <laughs> can't hate it. Anyways, peace.